Good afternoon. Let's try that again. Good afternoon. I want to welcome you to our concert here this afternoon with the two bell choirs. My name is Michael Cavney and I am the lead minister here at Kamloops United Church and this afternoon I am really pleased to be the master of ceremonies. I am also really pleased to be able to welcome you to this concert here at Kamloops United. And as we start, we want to acknowledge that we are on the unceded territory of the Tecumseh Shwepam people, and we are very grateful to be able to share this territory. I also want to note that for the past 25 years, Kamloops United Church has been an officially designated affirming community of faith of the United Church of Canada. That means that everyone is welcome here regardless of gender identity or sexual orientation. So please do feel welcome in this space. Now, before we start, a few housekeeping details. Fire exits, just take note of the fire exits. There are two exits on this side. There is an exit into the alleyway at the back. There's an exit out the side door and you just proceed from there to the front doors of the church. And washrooms, there's a washroom uh, located just off the foyer area. Also this afternoon, just a reminder to silence your cell phones. Karen and June tell me that they're just not tuned to the bells. Also, you have to know a custom we have here at Kamloops United Church is if your cell phone goes off, while you are at a worship service or at a concert, you take the minister to lunch. <laughs> and I have had a lovely lunch at the Berwick. I have had a lovely meal at a Chinese restaurant. And uh, I am going in a few days to another restaurant, a Greek restaurant for lunch. So just want you to know we're serious about turning your phone off. We're also very pleased this afternoon that uh, Christo Vutev and Anton Niedersteiner have agreed to record our concert. As they have set up professional equipment for this purpose, we'd ask you just to move carefully in the space, mindful of your immediate surroundings, and just to avoid tripping over any of the cords, which are taped down, but just be careful of them. And so our opening choir this afternoon is Harmony in Hand under the direction of Karen McClelland. This group started in 2006 for people who wanted to learn how to ring bells and is composed of some of the newer ringers and also some old hands at ringing. And one ringer, I'm told, has only been ringing since September. Way to go. Pre-COVID, they were very active in the community sharing bell music here at Kamloops United Church, at many seniors' residences, and also developing a youth handbell choir for three successive years at the Kamloops School of Arts. And so there is something this afternoon quite magical when the bells are rung with organ accompaniment featuring our wonderful organist, Gordon Britton, we open the concert with English Carol for Bells and Organ.
just what was that carol that was in that piece? And the carol is, Tomorrow Will Be My Dancing Day. It's a very old carol, likely from the Middle Ages. And now they are going to continue with the piece, The Snow Lay on the Ground. It is a West England traditional carol, first appearing in hymn books in 1862. You will hear chimes along with the bells in this piece. And it's, the words are, the snow lay on the ground, the star shone, shone bright, when Christ the Lord was born on Christmas night. Venite adoremos dominum, come let us adore the Lord. Just before we begin our next piece, I want to tell you that I learned something new this past week. Bell ringers. Did you know that you are all campanologists? It was a new word for me. Is it a new word for some of you? Some of you? Oh, some of you knew it. Okay. Well, it is a new word for me, and it is a combination of the Latin word for bell and campana from the... Uh, the uh, Latin campana, and the Greek logia, which means the study of, such as biology or theology or astrology. And traditionally, it referred to the study of the bells, how they are cast, tuned, rung, and sounded. But today, more popularly, the term refers to those who play the bells. And so we are absolutely delighted at Kamloops United to have our own campanologists. <laughs> When we think of getting ready for Christmas, we think of Christmas greenery. I know we were out and cut our own tree uh, this past week. Evergreen Christmas combines three familiar green carols, Deck the Halls, O Christmas Tree, and the Holly and the Ivy.
the next piece is a Christmas bell favorite of mine. It's a very old carol dating back to the 1500s or earlier. Charles Dickens wrote a Christmas carol. He wrote in it that at the first sound of God bless you, merry gentlemen, let nothing you dismay. At hearing that, Scrooge seized the ruler with such energy of action that the singer fled in terror. Well, we hope that you find interesting this arrangement of God rest ye merry gentlemen. died this past October. Cynthia was a Fulbright scholar, an organist and composer and arranger of handbell and choral music. She is one of the most famous handbell choir composers in the world and she conducted about 350 international workshops and festivals with more than 175 works in print. As you have already seen this afternoon, the handbells have a variety of techniques that are used to create music. Cynthia was a master at weaving those techniques through her music, while at the same time challenging ringers to modulate through several key changes, surely keeping the ringers on their toes. And Karen had the opportunity to work with Cynthia Dobrinsky a highlight of her time ringing bells. And there's nothing quite like the sound of handbells and flute. You will notice that it is necessary in a moment to tune 
the flute to the bells before they start. And now we're going to feature Kevin Barlow on flute. So sit back, relax, and enjoy Silent Night, arranged by Cynthia Dobrinsky. Just while they are coming down and the other choir uh, were getting ready for the next piece, we had hoped to have the musical chimers as part of our concert today. But unfortunately, COVID has uh, taken its toll with the chimers uh, with only half of the ringers able to come to practice. The musical chimers, just to let you know, started in the fall of 2011 under the direction of Karen McClellan and prior to COVID, shared chime music at all of the uh, Kamloops Bells concerts and at the BC Guild Conference in Kamloops. They were also a part of the fundraising concert held for Chris Rose Center for Autism. We really do miss their performance today. And now you can see that uh, we have two ringers who are getting ready to do a bell duet. And one of the ways more experienced ringers seek a challenge is to ring almost three octaves of bells with fewer ringers instead of the usual 11. 
And today we have a wonderful opportunity to listen to Carolyn Ramsey and Nancy Bishop. And they're going to share their love of bells by ringing out Alleluia. confess to you that I have always wanted to be a stand-up comedian. So I have a few one-liners I want to try out on you. 
First one. What do you get if you cross a bell with a skunk? Jingle smells. I know a dog who goes and sits in the corner every time the doorbell rings. He's a boxer. Okay, now here, a little classy. What is the difference between Francis Bacon and Francis Bacon? One comes from belly pork and the other from the belly pock. I saw a bee fly into a bell the other day and I thought, that's a real humdinger. <laughs> and you know, I got some ideas the other day while sitting in the, bell t the church bell tower. I was inspired. <laughs> Finally, what do cow, why do cows have cowbells? Because their horns don't work. <laughs> okay. I know, don't quit your day job, right? <laughs> and now we are pleased to have the Bells of Note under the direction of June Routledge to close our concert today. Bells of Note continue to contribute at Kamloops United Church, also as part of many community concerts and as part of the BC Guild of English Handbell Ringers. In fact, many of these ringers love ringing so much that pre-COVID, they've attended many workshops and conferences in BC, across Canada, and internationally. Cairns, Australia, and Liverpool, England being two examples. Most recently in the summer of 2019, they rang at the Edmonton Classic Copper Conference, working with Michael Glasgow, who is a prolific handbell composer and arranger. Well, today they've planned a program of familiar Christmas numbers. They hope will invoke some fond Christmas memories, memories of family traditions. And so as we enter this magical time of year again, may the music of handbells begin to create a more festive mood, perhaps some new happenings, in your 2021 Christmas season. After this festive opening, you now have an invitation to come and enjoy the Christmas story, beginning with Jason Krug's Veni. This piece features a medley of four hymn carols, O Come, Emmanuel, Love Divine, All Loves Excelling, Love Came Down at Christmas, and O Come, All Ye Faithful. Tammy Walthrop's 
an Appalachian Christmas, an upbeat medley of carols arranged in bluegrass style. If you listen closely, you may identify the imitation of many common Appalachian instruments, banjos, mandolins, guitars, double basses, and dulcimers. Hopefully, you'll enjoy this toe-tapping rendition. Finally, by contrast, the Bells of Notes third number, while shepherds watch their flocks, features a conversation between flute and handbells. Special thanks to Shauna Fadden, who is featured on the flute today.
The next two pieces of this concert begin with Carl Beinecke, which is arranged by Matthew Prince. Carl Beinecke is a Russian word for the peddlers, based on a poem of the same name, written by Nikolai Nekaraz in 1861. The poem was put to music with an increasing tempo and associated dance style that led to it quickly becoming a popular Russian folk song. It tells the story of a meeting between a peddler and a girl, describing their haggling over goods in a metaphor of courtship. Outside Russia, the song was adapted into the theme of Nintendo's video game Tetris in 1989. And the second piece, the text for Mary Did You Know was written by Mark Lowry in 1984 and set to music by Buddy Green in 1991. Arranged by Anna Laura Page for handbells, this gentle lyrical piece conveys a powerful message of the promise coming of a baby king who would one day be the Lord of all creation. Thank you. 
cannot begin to express our thanks to the many people who have volunteered to assist with the bell choirs today with welcoming concert setup and later on take down and getting ready for tomorrow morning and making sure that we have followed all of the interior health guidelines special thanks are extended to the staff and the congregation of Kamloops United Church and the bell choirs are truly thankful for your ongoing support. The concert proceeds today will go towards keeping the bells and the chimes ringing within the Kamloops community. And they have asked me to say that you have been a wonderful audience. <laughs> and we appreciate each of you making the choice to attend. And when you think of it, it has been two years since they last held their uh, last concert. And also, new ringers are always welcomed. Of course, you have to be masked and doubly vaccinated at this point. If you are interested, speak with either June or Karen after the concert. And so, Harmony in Hand and Bells of Notes wish you warm holiday wishes and hope that you all have a wonderful Christmas season creating many family memories and sharing in Christmas traditions. And now they will do their final concert number, Gloria Hodi, and this arrangement sparkles with joy and energy. If you listen closely, you'll hear, "'Twas in the moon of winter time, and on this day earth shall ring."
Well, ringers, I think that our applause says it all. I want to thank you very much uh, for those, those pieces. And uh, you, uh, you and also the bells of uh, note have, uh, the harmony in hand, have chosen many, many familiar pieces. And I think during this time of COVID, we just needed those familiar pieces. I, I know I certainly did. So I want to thank you, um, thanking, of course, the uh, uh, bells of note. And um, you were just wonderful. I also want to say, Harmony in Hand, you are just excellent. And um, there are also two special women who need to be thanked. And I like to think of them as both as dear friends, since I've come to Kamloops. Uh, first of all, June, uh, thank you very much. For those of you who don't know, uh, June was about the first person I met in Kamloops because uh, we went to dinner when I came here for my hiring interview. And at that interview, June spoke of her passion for the bells. And I thought, what a wonderful woman that she just has this love of bells in her heart. So thank you very much, June, for all of the work that you put into it. Wonderful. <laughs> and also saying thank you to my dear friend, Karen, um, who I know also has the love of bells in her heart and has done so much for handbells, not just here in this church, but in the community. And uh, I know any time bells are mentioned out there in Kamloops, your name seems to come up. And I know you have shared so much in the school system, and I have run across parents who say uh, how much they and their children have appreciated. Karen, thank you very much for the many, many hours. That is so, so appreciated. And if you want to hear the bells again this Christmas season, on December the 19th at 10 o'clock, uh, both bell choirs will be performing in our, we're having a musical concert called Sing Noel as part of our worship service. And looking forward to both of that. And Harmony and Hand are also going to be playing on Christmas Eve. Uh, here at the church. Pardon? Bells of note. Bells of note. I will get you straight yet. <laughs> Both wonderful. Both wonderful. Bells of note will be, will be playing. So if you want to hear them again. And so as we leave here, I will pronounce the traditional blessing that we say here in this space. Let us all go out in love, in joy, in hope and in peace. And may God, who is always creating in our world and in our lives, Jesus, who wishes to be our Lord and Savior, our Redeemer, and show us the way, and the Holy Spirit, which will uplift us and sustain us, be with us all, both now and forevermore. Amen and amen.